Hey guys, a quick home lab tip. I know I have been learning and playing around with Proxmox a whole lot more in the home lab environment. It's a great hypervisor. But have you ever ran into an error trying to upload an ISO image, such as a large Windows Server 2022 ISO image to the default ISOs folder in Proxmox? I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip on how to add your own custom ISO image repository in Proxmox. The problem that I ran into to begin with in looking at uploading my ISO images, even though I had external storage added, the only storage that was showing the ISO images available was the default local Proxmox that in my case, in my default installation was a 10 gig partition. Now I had a few other files out there as well as the space that was already taken in the partition. So it only left me with just around four gigs of usable space. So when I tried to load the Windows Server 2022 ISO image, it simply was not large enough and I received error messages. However, if you look at your other storage, there's no way to actually add a place for ISO images. So what I did to solve the issue was add an additional local storage device to the Proxmox server. And you can see that I did that when I navigate to my Proxmox hosts and I go to disks, you will see the dev slash SDB and you can see it's 32 gigs in space. What do we do from this point once we've added a new hardware device and also reboot after you've done that? Go to disks and then we're gonna to go to directory. And in the directory node, we're going to create directory. And this process automatically looks for a disk that is not used in any other way by your Proxmox host. So as you can see, it automatically grabs the dev slash SDB device that we pointed out. At this point, all we have to do since the disk is selected is select a file system. And here I select ext4 isos uh, to be intuitive we're going to say add storage and as soon as we create this isos directory it's going to allow us now to use this storage space as a means to upload iso images so as you can see i can browse now to this iso storage location i can click iso images and now I have a much larger area that I can work with ISO images in Proxmox. So guys, I'm Brandon Lee. If you like these quick tip videos, please do like and subscribe to the channel and look for many more of these coming in future videos. Hope you guys are staying safe, doing well, learning lots, and keep those home labs running. See you guys soon.